When I was working in the renewable energy industry with a lot of Europeans, they were always amazed that living in such a windy place, the Isle of Man hadn't done anything towards having any onshore or offshore wind resources. And, it, and it's, it's really embarrassing. I mean, if you look at other nations such as you know, Costa Rica and Tasmania and these places, they're, they're carbon neutral or net exporters of renewable energy now. And, and here we are in the Isle of Man, one of the windiest places on earth, and we've, we've done absolutely nothing. on its journey to renewables. I think it, it got off to a good start with the Chief Minister's declaration of a, uh, an emergency and Professor Curran's work to look at all of the options. But since then, we've seen absolutely no progress at all. Um, and unfortunately, I think that some of the, the aspirations that they've come out with are, are very low ambition. You know, 75% of renewables by 2035 is, is, is a really poor target. You know, we should be looking at 100% of renewables by 2025 and 200% say by 2035. That, that would be you know, an easily achievable and a better ambition. Tomorrow.